Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing different snack stand sets. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to be notified every time I upload a new video. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can determine whether or not they'd like to purchase these products. Be sure to comment down below your favorite set featured in the video. You might need to wait right up until the end of the video so you're able to see all the different reviews. So the first set we'll be taking a look at is the American Girl Snack Stand. There's a photo over by the corner of the box to give an overview of the set and it comes with quite a few different accessories and items too. So let's go ahead and open it up. So the first item we have here is the stand itself. So over by the front, it says menu and it shows a variety of different items that are available at the stand. And all of these items are featured in the snack stand itself. And over by the side of the stand, there is a small hook. So you're able to display different items and there is a design over by the side too. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back. So first off, there's two compartments here. This one opens up and it shows different meat fillings for the food. Then we have a grill design over by the middle and this does move from side to side. Doesn't make any sounds or anything, but then over by the other side, we have another storage compartment that can be for the paper notes or anything like that. And then over here, we have different toppings. There's a total of four. This compartment doesn't open and close, but there's a variety of different options to choose from. And over by the other side of the stand, there's some more designs. There's a main design here and a smaller one over by the side, but I do love this teal turquoise color for the countertop. There is an attachment that you can attach over by the front of the stand. It says American Girl at the front, and there's some details and designs. There's a total of three clips here, and they're meant to be for the chips. Here's what the chips look like. They're made out of plastic material, and you can see that there's stuffing inside of the packaging itself. What we're going to do is we're going to add it over to the clip. So we'll just lift that up. We'll add it in place, and it should be able to stay. We're going to be adding a total of three, as there's three different clips. So we have the second one there. And then we'll add the third one and they seem to be staying in place as well. So it says tortilla chips at the front, the packaging's orange and there's some yellow and blue as well. Let's go ahead and display some of the accessory items that are a part of this set. So we'll be adding some of the food items over by the front here. So first off, we have some nachos. You can see the nacho chips around the side and some of the toppings in the middle. There are a total of four of these paper holders for the different food items. So this can go over by the side near the topping section. Then we also have the quesadillas. So there's a total of two of these and there's two of the nachos. The quesadillas are in sets of three and they're all connected together. That can go over by the grill in the middle here. Then we also have some flour tortillas and there's a stack and they're all stuck together as well. This can go over by the other side and then we'll also add the tongs as well over by the back here too. This compartment has the different items already, but this compartment is completely empty. We're going to be adding in the paper bills over by the side there and we can go ahead and close that. Over by the side here, we're going to be adding in one of the quesadillas that are part of the set. It's styled exactly the same as the one that's on the grill. There's a total of three connected together as one piece. And then there's some space right next to it. So we're going to be adding in the salsa bottle. There's a label at the front and it's a bright orange color too. Over by the front, we're going to be displaying some food and drink options. The set comes with a total of three different flavors of sparkling juice. There's orange and there's also lime. And then over in the middle, we're going to be adding in the strawberry one. There's also some space over here to add some more food items. So we have the nachos. They're styled exactly the same as the other ones that we already displayed in the set. And then there's also a total of three different churros and we have them in the paper basket as well. They're all separated so they're not connected together as one piece like the quesadillas. You can go ahead and add it over to the other paper containers as well. Here we have an overview of the snack stand. The set is quite small, which is really great for storage. You can go ahead and store it away and reset it up again. It comes with a variety of different food and drink options. I do really love the clips over by the side for the tortilla chips, so you can go ahead and display those over there too. This set is called the Canvas Snack Cart Set. It comes with a snack stand, multiple different food and accessory items as well. So as I show each item, I'm going to be setting up the snack stand so you're able to see the entire set overall set up with the different items. So the first item we have here is the snack stand itself. I do have to say there's a lot of different features to it and there's quite a few different compartments for storage as well. So this here is what it looks like from the front. There's a menu board over by the side that's attached to the snack stand and I love the detail design over by the front and it matches the side as well. There's also a sink over here and this does turn from side to side, but it doesn't work or anything like that. And there's also some counter space over by the side to display some more items too. My favorite feature of the set would definitely have to be this covering over by the top. It's really bright. There's orange, pink, white, and green. It says American Girl on the side and you can attach it or else you can remove it from the stand itself. 
Here we have an overview of the menu. So the top section features the campus snacks and the bottom section features the sweet treats and all of these items are featured in the set itself. Over by this side of the snack cart, there is a holder for the towel. It is removable, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for now so we can add in the towel. I do love the detailed design of it. It matches the theming of the snack cart itself. We're going to add the towel over here so it's displayed like so. Over by the back of the campus snack cart, there are quite a few different compartments. So we have a microwave over here and these little accessories do turn and they also make a clicking sound as well. And there is a door that opens and closes and there's a small window so you're able to see what's inside. These two compartments are for storage for leftover containers and items. Then we also have the section for the coins and notes that does open and close. And then these two compartments are actually the refrigerator which opens and closes too. So let's go ahead and add some of the accessories over here. So first off, we have a container of French fries. I do love the detail of the fries. It does look very realistic and it's in a red basket and it has some white tissue inside of it, but that's actually made out of plastic. We're going to add that to the microwave there. And then up next, we have some ice creams. There's a total of four in the set. We're going to be adding two of those in the refrigerator. And then there's also some fruit kebabs. We'll place those right there. And then there's also a scoop for the ice cream and there is an orange handle and that can go over by the side. There's quite a large counter space over by the front here to display some more accessory items. So first off, we have two corn. I'm going to add that over there. Then there's also two ice cream sandwiches and I love the detail of these as well. This set comes with multiple different trays to display the different food items. So I'm just going to place them on there for now. Then there's also two hot dogs. Here we have the first one. And then the second one can go over by the back here. There's also some ketchup and mustard bottles. And there's some berry juices as well. There's a strawberry design in the front. There's a total of two, but there's not a lot of space. So that can go over here. And we're not going to be displaying the second one. We'll display that over by the back. But over here, we have the hot dog stand itself. It features the different hot dogs and it does rotate from side to side and it lights up too. And all we need to do is place down the tongs. It can go over by the hot dog over here and the apron as well. The apron is a bright pink color and there's a star design over by the middle. There's pieces of Velcro over by the top and the back as well. Overall, I would definitely recommend the campus snack cart. I love the different compartments over by the back. It's perfect for storing away the different items and it comes with a variety of different food and accessory items too. Let's go ahead and take a look at Nenea's Shaped Ice Shop. This item is a part of Nenea's collection. Nenea is a historical character, so the items are themed to her time period, which is the 1940s. So the first item we have here is the main feature item, which is the shaved ice shop itself. It is made out of a lightweight plastic material, which is really great, so it's easy to move around for different setups. It's a blue and yellow color, so the stand itself is blue, and as for the counter, it's yellow, and there's some detail over by the side too. There's a total of two hooks, one at the front and one by the side to display the stands that are a part of the set. Take a look over here. We have these little holders for the different shaved ice, and there's a total of three. Let's go ahead and move it to the back. And what's really great about the back of the set is that we have this extra storage space over by the bottom here, and there's a lot of counter space over by the top. So as I show each item, I'm going to be setting it up so you can see the entire shaped eye shop set up overall with the different accessories and items. Let's go ahead and take a look at the signs first. So there's a total of two hooks at the front so you're able to display them. The first one says shaped eyes. I love how it's shaped as a shaped eyes and it's 25 cents. There is a speckle design over by the front to make it look like the sign is older than what it actually is. So I'll add that over there. And then the next item we have here is the main side. It shows the different flavors. There's lemon, orange, lime, and fruit punch, and it is double-sided. The other side says, sorry, we're closed. We're going to add the flavor sign over by the front here like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the top of the shaped eye shop. So we have the name of the store over there. Then we also have this cover here, which is yellow and white. It matches the front of the shaped eye shop. Then we also have this light over here too, which I just clicked in place. And when you press this button, the light switches on and turns off as well. Let's go ahead and display some of the smaller accessories that are part of the set. So first off, we have some money and it's still in the packaging. I'm just going to leave that over by the side here. And then there's these three little compartments for the shaped ice. There's a total of five in the set. So I'm going to display three over by the front and two over in this section here. So the first one we have here is lemon. We'll add that over there. And then the second one we have here is fruit punch. So there's a small little handle over by the side of each holder and you can remove it from the holder itself. So we'll place that right next to it over there. The set does come with a metal scooper, so it is quite heavy and it fits perfectly in the shaped ice. I'm going to add that to the container. We'll display this over by the front of the shaped ice stand later, but I'm going to add this over by the back section here like so. 
Let's go ahead and display the rest of the shaved ice items. So first off, there's orange that can go over by one side. Then over in the middle, we have this mixture of fruit punch, lemon, and orange. We'll just add that so the orange is not next to each other there. And then there's also lime too. If you could pick one of these flavors, which one would you choose? Personally, I would pick the mixture or else I choose fruit punch. This item can go over by the front here and it is to make the shaved ice. This item here rotates and it makes this item spin and this lifts up as well. You can actually remove this item from the machine itself and it's meant to be crushed shaved ice and it removes from the holder as well. So what you're meant to do is you're meant to lift it up then you can add it in like that and then you mix it and then you lift it and then remove it from the holder. I love the detail of the fish design and then there's a penguin over by the back. So that can sit over by the side there. And then we'll just add the different shaved ice flavorings over here. There are a total of four different bottles here, one for each flavor. There's fruit punch, and that's a bright red color. There's also orange, and that's an orange color. There's lime, and then there's finally lemon as well. I love the detail of them. They definitely suit the overall theme to the shaved ice shop. Overall, I would definitely recommend Inea Shaved Ice Shop. I love the detail, the different accessories and items. It's really great how there's different compartments and holders for the shaved ice itself, and there's a variety of different flavors and options too. It's definitely perfect for Inea's collection. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ice cream cart set. So first off, we have the main feature item here, and it is the ice cream cart. There's an ice cream detail over by the side, and there's a polka dot design over by the top and the side as well. There is a door, so you can open and close it, and this is the perfect place for storage, and there's quite a few different compartments over by this top section to display the different accessories and items. And here we have the side of the ice cream cart. We have the ice cream cone detail again, and there's two attachments, one on either side over by the top here, and it's meant to be for the handle, and the handle does click in place like that, and it stays. It's definitely perfect for storage because you can go ahead and remove the handle again, and that is meant to be for the towel that's a part of the set. I love the detail of the towel because it's themed to popsicles, which is so perfect for the set itself. It's so bright and colorful, and we're going to place it like that. Over by the front of the cart, it says ice cream with the ice cream cone design and American Girl in the middle, and then we have that polka dot design around the side. And over by the other side of the cart, there is a menu and it shows the different ice cream and frozen treat and topping options they have. So there's vanilla or strawberry ice cream, there's berry, orange, and lime frozen treats, and the toppings are sprinkles and chocolate sauce. Let's go ahead and add a few of the accessory items over by this top compartment. So over in the middle here, there's a total of three lines and these are meant to be for the frozen treats. So there's a total of two popsicles for each flavor. So we have berry that can go over by the back. And then we also have the second one here as well that can go right next to it. And then we have the lime and that can go right in the middle. And it's really great how all of the items are standing up. And then you can see the detail of the popsicle stick in the middle there. And then there's also orange as well. And those two can go by the front. So here we have the last popsicle. And what's really great about this set is that it comes with a handle attacher. So you can place it like that. So it can be a handle. So the popsicle can be held onto. There is only one of these. So you have to change it around depending on what treat you want. But just to show you the ice cream itself, it does fit into the container. So here we have the ice cream bowl. It has the ice cream cone detail at the front. And then it fits like that. It's so perfect and you can interchange it depending on what flavor you choose between vanilla and strawberry. So let's go ahead and set up the set. I'm going to move this out of the way for now. And then I'm just going to place these items over here. So the strawberry ice cream does have the chocolate syrup on top of it. And then the vanilla ice cream has the sprinkles already. So I'm going to place those two items like that. I do love how the ice cream's not completely flat. It does look like it has scoops out of it, which just makes it a bit more realistic. So here we have the vanilla ice cream. We have both of those options and there's a total of four ice cream sets. So now it's time to go ahead and add the ice cream bowls over by the other side. So there's a total of four of those, one for each ice cream scoop. And they're all styled exactly the same. They're a bright pink color. And then we have that ice cream detail at the front. So they're just gonna stay like that. And then we also have some spoons. There's a total of four. There's two green and two purple, and that can sit over there. And as for this compartment over here, we do have an ice cream scooper, which is a very important item to add into an ice cream cart set. It is blue and white, which does match a lot of the detail to the set itself. And we're going to place it over by the compartment. I do love how all of the items are styled, but of course you can style it however way you like. The set does also come with this paper box and it says ice cream cones. And for now, I'm just going to place it over by this compartment and we're going to shut the door like that just so it stays out of the way for now because there's not a lot of space over by the counter. And then we also have those accessory toppings that you add on top of the ice cream. So there's a container of sprinkles. I do love how all the sequins move around. 
We'll just place that over by the front. And then we also have the chocolate syrup as well. It has a label on the front. So now that all of the accessories have been set up and styled, all I've done is add the cover over the top of the ice cream and the frozen treats. And the lid does open and close. Right now it's open so you're able to see the different accessories and items. Overall, I would definitely recommend the set. I love the detail of the different items. It's really great how the ice cream cart comes with the frozen treats and ice cream too. This set is called Leah's Fruit Stand. It comes with a fruit stand with multiple different accessories and items. It was a part of Leah's collection, who's an older girl of the year. So let's go ahead and remove the items from the box and unwrap the packaging so we're able to set up the fruit stand itself. The first item part of the set is the toucan. Even though it's made out of a plastic material, it's surprisingly very heavy and it can be attached over by the side of the fruit stand itself. Up next, we have a pair of tongs, a wooden spoon that's actually made out of plastic. The handle of it's yellow and there's a piece of string so you're able to display it over by the fruit stand. And then we also have two plates and the design on the plates are featured throughout Leah's collection so it ties in with the set perfectly. Up next, we have some food items. There's a cluster of cheesy buns. There's a total of three items and they're all connected as one. And then we also have two servings of tamales as well. Up next we have an acai bowl and there's some fruit on top of it and the cup is clear so you're able to see the acai inside and over by the middle we have a really bright pink spoon and over by the other side there's a teal container and that's meant to be for the fruit. Up next we have some fruit here and they're perfect to display in the fruit stand so there's some mangoes, strawberries and even some shredded coconut as well. Let's take a look at these items over here. So first off we have half a coconut, over in the middle we have some pomegranates but the pomegranate over by the front is in half so you're able to see the detail of the fruit. And the item over by the other side is styled very similar to the shredded coconut, but instead of coconut, it is granola. Up next, we have some drinks. So over by the back, there's mango juice and guava juice. It's really great because there's labeling at the front, so you're able to see exactly what flavors they are. And the packaging is clear, so you're able to see the juice. And over by the front, there's a can, and that's coconut water. And here we have a few more accessories. So first off, there's the blender. The bottom compartment is blue and there's a switch over by the front that you can rotate. The blender is removable and so is the lid as well. And it looks like it's in the process of being blended. The item right in front of it is a brochure and it's all about sea turtles, which ties in with Leah's collection perfectly. And then we also have a menu for the fruit stand. So on one side, it has all of the options of the fruit stand and on the other side, it just says menu. This item here is a sign. It says, come back soon. And on the other side, it says, sorry, we are closed. Here we have some more fruits, so there is a bunch of bananas here and they're all connected as one piece and then we also have some mangoes over by the back and there's a total of four mangoes all connected together and as for the coconut, there are two whole coconuts and they're separate. And in order to personalize and decorate the fruit stand, the set does come with a sticker sheet. The stickers are themed to Leo's storyline and collection. And just before we take a look at the fruit stand, here we have some more accessory items. So first off, there is a tote bag and it features the turtle sanctuary that's featured in Leo's storyline. And right next to it, we have a blue mesh bag. So let's go ahead and set up the fruit stand so we're able to take a look at the item. So let's go ahead and add these accessory items over the top of the fruit stand and over by the side of the window, we're going to be adding that sign. It says closed on one side and come back soon on the other side. We're going to go ahead and open up the door so we can continue to set up the rest of the fruit stand. There is a compartment over by the side to add the turtle sanctuary brochure and we're going to go ahead and add the toucan over here and it should be able to stay like so. This compartment will be perfect to place all the different drinks, including the coconut water can too. And there are so many different compartments a part of the set to display the different fruit accessories. So over by the side, there are a total of four smaller compartments to display the pre-cut fruit, the coconut, and we could also add the granola there too. And there's also a covered compartment underneath to add some more items as well. And this compartment can be used to display different food or accessory items and over by the side, I'm just going to be adding in some more coconut items and some plates too. And even though the counter seems quite small, it definitely fits a lot of the accessories are part of the set. So we're just going to be adding in the tongs, the spoon, the mesh bag, and the tote bag on the hooks that are featured throughout the set. And we have completely styled the fruit stand with the different accessories that are part of the set. There are so many different compartments for storage over by the side there and also on top as well. And there's so many different hooks as well to display the different accessories too. It's really great how those square accessories are not stuck in place so you can constantly interchange them between the granola, the coconut, and the different fruit options as well. And over by the side of the fruit stand, there is a table that's attached to it, which is really great. So you can display the different fruit items, the accessories, and the acai bowl as well. And there are some signs displayed already on the side of the wall that you cannot remove. It's a part of the fruit stand itself. There is a poster and a turtle crossing sign, and there's a small attachment over by the side, which is perfect for the toucan to be displayed as well. It's really great how there is a small compartment for the turtle brochure, and I love the detail of the table. It has a wave design in the middle. 
And here we have the front of the fruit stand. So it has some fruit displayed over by the bottom. There's a counter over by the other side of the fruit stand and the doors do open and close. The back of the doors do reveal menu options. So on one side, there are acai bowls. And it explains the different toppings you can choose from and over by the other side they have smoothie options and it explains the different fruit you can choose from to create the smoothie. A great display item that's a part of the set would definitely have to be that cooler over by the bottom. There's a total of three little compartments to display the different drink options. So two of them are standing up and one of them's lying down in the middle and that's perfect for the coconut water can. Overall, I would definitely recommend Leah's fruit stand set. There's so many different compartments for storage and displaying the different accessory items. It comes with a variety of different fruit and I love the addition of the table over by the side. It was really great to open and review these different food and accessory sets. Be sure to comment down below your favorite set featured in this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.